Hello and welcome to this short video tutorial by Emicro. In this video, we will discuss the steps of uh, providing uh, the access rights to your Odoo SH environment. So if you've purchased an Emicro app or theme and uh, you'd like to have our support, in some cases, we would need access to your Odoo SH environment. Uh, so first and foremost, you will need to sign into your Odoo SH account. And once you've signed in, you will be able to see the screen where you will see all your projects. So you'd want to provide us access to a specific project. So you can select that project, you can go to that project and click on this icon and go to settings. Once you go to settings, uh, you will be able to see uh, the option to add collaborators. And this is where you can add uh, Mpro as a collaborator. So go to uh, this text bar and type Mpro GitHub and you will see our user listed here. Just click there and click on the add button. Now, as soon as you do that, any pro will be added as a collaborator to your old OSH environment. But as you can see that we have the user privileges, uh, you would want to change those privileges to admin privileges so that we have complete access of your old OSH environment and it will help us troubleshoot better if we have the admin access. So this is the first step of providing access to your Odoo SH environment. Additionally, as a second step, in some cases, you may also need to provide us access to your GitHub repository, which is associated to your Odoo SH environment. Now, this access is only required when uh, uh, you want us to push or pull the code uh, to your GitHub repository. So let's say we have done some changes and you want us to push the code, uh, the updates to your GitHub repository, which can then be uh, uh, synced with your Odoo SH uh, project. Uh, that is when you need to provide us uh, the access to your GitHub repository as well. And to do that, go to your project screen and you will see a GitHub icon over here. Just click on the GitHub icon and you will be taken to your GitHub account. Now, this is the screen of your GitHub account and for the specific project, uh, go to settings menu and under the settings menu, you will see manage access. Click on manage access and uh, you will see the option to invite a collaborator. Click on the button to invite a collaborator and type in our username that is Emipro GitHub. And you will see uh, our user listed here. Just click on that and click on add Emipro GitHub to this repository. Once you click this button, you will have invited us uh, to access your GitHub repository. One additional thing, uh, you can always revoke uh, our access whenever the support is not required. You will see a link to copy the invitation uh, URL. So whenever you create a support ticket to report uh, any issue, please send out uh, this link along with the support ticket so that the support person helping you out has the exact link to accept your inv invitation and can help you out quickly. One last note. Uh, it is important that your repository on GitHub is a private repository. So if your repository is not private, it will show you here as public repository. And I'll show you the steps on how you can quickly change from public to private. Just click on manage. And you will be taken to the screen where you will see this option, change repository visibility. And you can click on the change visibility button and you can select make private. And when you do that, you will be asked to enter your GitHub account name and the project name. It will be shown here. You can copy it, paste it, and just approve it. And your GitHub repository uh, will be converted into a private repository, which will keep our custom code secure and not publicly accessible to anyone. So that's it then. If you still have any questions about this, feel free to reach out to our support team. Thank you.